Uh, one of the guns on the market right now that's creating a lot of interest is the uh, the uh, Taurus 905. And what that is, is it's a uh, probably a K-frame size gun. It's a little bigger than the J-frame, but it's a revolver chambered in 9mm and using the uh, full moon clips. Uh, everybody loves this gun. Everybody hates the moon clips. One of the problems with the moon clips is they're, they're very thin, they come loose, they don't hold well, and it's actually got a lot of people bailing on the gun just over the clips. Taurus doesn't have any replacements in stock right now. Uh, they have them that they're sending out to people uh, under warranty, but they're, they're, they don't have them right now, so, so I'm waiting for some for this gun. Little background on this gun, I ordered this gun in new to my store, sold it to a customer, he brought it back. He was very polite. He wasn't satisfied with it. I gave him a full refund on the gun and told him that I, I would just take care of the problem. Either send it back to Taurus, who I think has excellent warranty service, or uh, take care of it myself. I decided that I really liked the gun and decided to keep it. The uh, moon clip thing has so many people so frustrated on the internet, and I was looking around, and uh, I was just, I was amazed that at what a tremendous amount of problem the uh, moon clips seem to be causing. They're, they're just a small uh, metal clip. I don't even know if you can, you can just probably barely see it. Try to get it up there. I don't know how well it'll focus. But uh, Taurus made them a little thinner than the Smith & Wesson and some of the other ones. And uh, they're, they're causing a problem. But I'm going to show you something, my opinion of why you should not bail out on the gun just over these clips. I mean, if this were something in your dashboard that were holding a cigarette lighter or something like that, everybody would just would just make a fix on it. And I'm gonna show you the fix that I think takes care of the problem, at least until the new clips come out, which I've heard are supposed to be slightly improved. But I'm gonna move the camera over to my, uh, to my counter here and uh, try to get a close-up of what I'm doing with the clips. I won't be in the picture. My hands will be. Somebody on here one time called me a hand model. I think that's kind of funny. But anyway, uh, you'll see my hand a little But Like I said, I'm going to show you what I did. I've already fixed two of the clips that way. I'll show you the, the difference in those and one that hasn't been repaired yet. I'm going to take this gun out to the range today, uh, run some ammo through it, see exactly how it, it performs group-wise, how it handles, and also whether my repair to the clips holds up or, or whether instantly does not. Anyway, let me get this camera set up, and I'm going to show you a way I think you can quit worrying about those clips at least until the replacements come out. I'm going to show you how I fixed uh, a couple of these and what the problem with them is. Now let me start off by saying I'm not in any way alibying uh, Taurus on this. It's a, it's a bad design from what I think is a pretty good company with pretty good service, but in this case this really was a bad design. There's no excuse for that. Uh, but I just think that people are way, way overreacting to the problem of a loose clip. Let me show you what, what happens with the factory clips. Now, I understand some of these don't come this way, but uh, this one, this one, every one of these clips was the same. And you put this, this in there, and it literally, it just falls out. <laughs> that was nice. Um, let me go pick that up. But anyway, uh, there's no excuse for that. There's no doubt about it. The, uh, the clip should hold. It's, it's virtually impossible to use this way. I mean, you try to, you try to gently balance these in there, and they, they fall out while you're trying to load them. If you get them all in there and go to put it in the gun, uh, it's almost impossible to, to get the gun loaded without knocking them out. And if you drop it, I mean, uh, two of them fell out, and the other one just, just came out instantly. Uh, on the other hand, this one... I just fixed, uh, I say fixed, I mean, it may be a temporary repair, I don't know how long it'll hold up, but as you can see, those are, those are in there, I mean, they're not coming out, that's just the factory clip, it acted exactly like the other one, and all I did was take a screwdriver, 
go to the little slot in between each of the two arms. I just put the screwdriver in that slot, pressed, and expanded the gap in between each set, basically just bending that retainer very slightly tighter. Uh, it doesn't take much. It certainly doesn't require any any kind of mechanical ability. I mean, I'm a long ways from being being a gunsmith, but I just gently press. I have a Wheeler screwdriver set that has a lot of different size bits, and I just found one that almost goes in, but not quite. And I just gently, a little at a time, work those. And I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it now snaps in. That one didn't hold, so I'll go back and tighten it again in a minute. Uh, let me get those just a little bit tighter there. And like I say, I, I do it gently because I, I didn't want to over tighten them and uh, cause problems the other way. But I just sit there and just work these. It took me uh, two or three minutes to do the other clip, which I understand that's a pain. Like I say, I'm not excusing Taurus for, for sending them out this way. And I'm not saying that this is a long-term fix, but I am saying that if this is an otherwise good gun, which everything I've read on it, everybody has just been... Yeah, now see that one was actually a chore to snap in, like the like the uh, Smith clips. I mean, like it like it should be. And uh, now again, okay, I got a couple that I think I still need to tighten just a little bit. And like I say, I, I could do this pretty much all at once, probably, with just a, a lot of force. But I think that a guy would be better off to be patient. On my screwdriver, it generally goes all the way down uh, to where that's clear at the bottom of the groove. But, I mean, you know, like I say, depending on the difference in the screwdriver blade... Some may not need to go that far. Plus, you don't want to get, you know, you don't want to put so much pressure on them that you fold over the clip or something. I mean, they're, they're spring steel. But you can hear those now actually, actually snap and still felt a little loose right there. That one is almost a little tight. But it's now, and then, like I say, it will now just drop right in, close. I mean, there's just no doubt it will, it will eject. The, it's not coming off. I'm going to do the rest of these. And uh, again, I, I'm stressing several things. One, I'm not excusing Taurus. Two, I'm not saying this is a complete, long, full-time fix. Um, but I sure think that if a person liked the gun, it is, I'm going to make sure, it is still clear. I'm going to make sure of that. I think it would be silly to, to write off the gun for a little flimsy piece of steel. They, uh, they make replacements that uh, I see online. They're about five or six bucks a piece. Uh, some of them say that they're a little too thick for some guns and fit in others. They blame Taurus for that. I don't know if that's true or if it's the um, manufacturing process of the clip. But anyway, like I say, I'm going to take this out to the range. I'm going to tighten all these up, get them good and snug so they snap in and snap out. Uh, 
a Taurus sends five of these. They are actually, I called them on the phone. They didn't ask for anything. They, they said they would just send me another pack when they get them in. My understanding is that they're going to, uh, they're going to try to maybe tighten them up just a little bit. It's what I understand. Uh, and I also understand that some of the guns are, are shipping with them that work fine and some of the guns are not. But anyway, like I say, I'll be back on after a little bit of range work. Uh, one thing I want to touch on real fast in case I forget to mention it later, people said, why would you want a nine millimeter revolver? And my opinion on it's a little different. I, I've heard some debates on stopping power. I've heard some debates, debates on whether, you know, it's easier to load the, uh, the moon clip than it is a speed loader and then just kick out the shells rather than, you know, than having to mess with it. I think there's one major reason why a guy should want a nine millimeter revolver. And that is that the ammo is much, much cheaper to practice with. Um, 38 ammo, mid $20 a box range, nine millimeter ammo at the discount stores, about 10 bucks a box. Uh, the gun's a little more expensive to start with, but I mean, if you shoot for a year and do not reload, you're going to pay for that gun just in the ammo cost. Aside from that, I also think that there is a valid point in that there's so much more ammo available in so many different bullet configurations and weights for the nine millimeter versus the limited or at least more limited amount of 38 special. In 38 special, you pretty much have 158 grain and 125 grain. In nine millimeter, I see it all the way down into the 80 grain range, 90 grain range, 115s. Uh, and then you get up all the way up, I think to 148 grain or some 125 grain stuff. Uh, there's just a tremendous amount of, of more available ammo selection and, like I say, a significant difference in cost. If you go to look for self-defense ammo, the, the amounts of 9mm available and the different styles, are, it just blows away what you can get for the 38. So I think that, you know, the, the ammo difference in cost and the difference in availability makes all of the difference. Anyway, um, I will be back on after, um, after I get done shooting it, and we will see what's going on. Thanks. Cycled fine, come out fine. They're all still held together. Um, and actually, although it shot a little higher than I expected, it uh, was a, as you can see, a pretty decent group. They were they were right over the deal, but over the center, I mean, of the dot. But anyway, that's probably a two-inch group at. Uh, about six yards. I'm going to run a couple more mags through, or not mags, but moon clips through it and see if I can keep the group there. Now, I was shooting that single action, so uh, I was cocking that, which would give me a little better group, obviously, than if I was just shooting double action in a hurry. I'm going to go ahead now and shoot double action, which will, I'm sure, open that group up a little bit, but it'll be a little more representative of what a guy would see in a self-defense situation. This old 905 is a good shooter. Worked fine, uh, popped right out. All I did, I just had a, uh, obviously just a little bit of a bent arm on one from when I was messing around with the screwdriver. 
anyway, I'll uh, home in on that and show you the group. The uh, first group, like I say, was single action and uh, quite a bit tighter. And then it uh, started to open up as I uh, shot faster and faster and, and double action. But man, that's a, that's a plenty combat accurate group there. Uh, this is, this is kind of what the gun did at single action when I was taking my time. And then it definitely opened back up. But anyway, uh, that is a good gun. One side note, the 9mm is not milder than the 38. I believe, if anything, I'm getting a little more recoil out of it. And it's just a, a full metal jacket. It's nothing, you know, particularly hot or special. But well, not much doubt about it. A uh, little bit of work on the moon clips, and this turns this into a fun gun to shoot, a comfortable gun to shoot. I'm sure I unloaded it, but I'll check it. It is clear. Uh, I'm actually not going to handle it a bunch anyway. There's not much else to say about it. It's a great gun. Shoots, I mean, shoots gentle, uh, way more than combat accurate, smooth, good trigger, uh, nice soft grip as a pair, compared to the arms core, which had a good looking grip, but it was actually a hard plastic rather than a soft rubber. Um, you know, this gun starts out a little higher than, than uh, you know, if you bought it in 38. Uh, it's up a little over 400 bucks was what I sold this gun for. Like I say, the, uh, the purchaser didn't like it, but that was strictly due to the clips. He actually never shot the gun. Um, he just uh, messed with the clips, tried to load it, got frustrated, brought it back. No big deal to me at all. Uh, like I said, I know I could have sent it to Taurus. They would have took care of it, but I just bent those clips into shape. They work perfect. I'm uh, thinking I might just keep the gun. I love to shoot nine millimeter. I use nine millimeters, my home defense gun in a big auto. Uh, I normally carry a 380 just because it's convenient, but I think this gun would be a good carry gun. And like I say, the, it opens up a, a huge opportunity in different, uh, you know, different bullet weights and bullet shapes and configurations and brands. The uh, nine millimeter ammo is abundant. You can buy it everywhere. Walmart, Bass Pro Academy. I mean, you don't have to go looking for it. 38 Special is not real hard to get, but usually you have a limited selection compared to the nine, and there's a quite a bit higher cost. Uh, in addition, I kind of like the moon clips when they work. Uh, I thought they were kind of nice. I just threw them in my pocket and could pull them out and load the gun, and I was really kind of impressed with it, like a speed loader without having to mess with the, uh, the actuator button on it. So uh, anyway, don't know what else to say about this gun. You know, it's probably not for everybody, but I, I would rate this gun as a good, solid, A-rated gun. A plus, maybe not because of the clips, but certainly I wouldn't detract anything from the rating of the gun because of the clips. I think Taurus will get that fixed, and there are several aftermarket companies selling the clips, although rubs me wrong, you know, to have to buy an aftermarket clip for a gun you just bought. So, like I say, I, I don't see where those clips are going to bend back out of shape anytime soon. It seems to me like Taurus ought to pay some guy with a screwdriver to sit around and tighten them up. But anyway, let me know if there's anything you guys want to see a review on. I'll try to get it done for you. I'm out at the shop more now. don't have quite as much time. Uh, but I will try to get some, uh, some gun reviews up. I appreciate the subscribers that have stuck with me. If you're new to me, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's something you want to you hear about, and I'll certainly try to help you out with it. Thanks a lot.